Alright guys, welcome to another video It's Top 51 Bending. Oh my goodness. Uh, so we are in our new little truck right here. As you can see it's a little bit overloaded. Uh, we're going to let it push up into it. Um, and we're going to have some fun. Um, so here's the problem. Here's the problem that I have. Now, I, I am so into my business that I have to go big time to play with everything. And the problem is, a lot of people switch off because, you know what, everyone, everybody has to work at 9 to 5, 9 to 5. And the problem is, not everybody, you know, is so steady. They say, oh, bro, I just made $30,000. I was like, yeah, but I made five. He goes, but how long did it take you? I said, it took me about a month. He goes, what are you doing? Thousand dollars a month. All this shit. What are you doing with that? Five hundred dollars a month. I go, he goes, are you crazy? I'm making thirty thousand dollars a day. Are you nuts? I said, yeah. Well, that thirty thousand, you're only making right now. And it's crypto. I have to understand that. And it's coming out of the day. I love to have more work. value of my money. You know what I mean? I need to know that. Um, but that's not the point I'm trying to make. The point is um, that I have a lot of free time on my hands, you know? And the, the whole thing is, is that everyone is always asking me for help. Everyone's always asking me for help. Paul, can you help me? Paul, can you help me? Paul, can you help me with this? Paul, can you help me with that? Even right now, as we speak, as we speak, right now, I am going to a friend's house to pick him up to move him because he can't move on his own. So I'm using my truck that I'm using for, you know, for my personal uh, errands to run, to go and pick him up. Why should I do that? I could be sitting here on a Sunday afternoon relaxing and, you know, be, you know, sitting on the beach or something. But no, here I am on a Sunday afternoon going to pick somebody up so they can move. Can you imagine that? Here's the problem with that. Now, they all see that I have time. Paul, help me with this. Paul, help me with that. You know, help me here, help me there. And I'll be more than happy to help them. Here's the problem. Here's the problem. Think of me as the godfather, okay? I don't ask anybody for anything. I don't care what it is. I am self-sufficient. Okay? And everything I do, I can do it on my own. Now, yes, I do ask my parents here and there, but, you know, that's just here and there. It's like once out of the blue. You know, if I go shopping, I mean, who doesn't want to go shopping? Shit. Who doesn't want to go shopping? Of course I take my parents shopping. You know? Um, and, I mean, I'm, self, I'm fully self-sufficient. I'm like 98 percent fully self-sufficient. I only need that 2% because my mom and my dad are 1% each. Okay? Because all they do is they sit and they supervise. So I, I'm not going to give them that much credit. Okay? Uh, but maybe I should. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll give them 5% each. I'm 90% both self-sufficient. But that's not the point. I, what I'm trying to say is that you know, I'm like the godfather. If you ask me for a favor, I expect one back. Now, I'm not going to return the favor back. Now, I'm not expecting for you to do something for me immediately. It could be a year, could be five years, could be ten years. Whatever. We may never see any, we may not see each other again after, you know, whatever the occurrence will be, you know? Um, it, it, it's, it's, it's just, you know, it's just whatever it is. It is what it is. But, you know, there's some people that are asking for favors. And I think I made a video on this before. And then they demand that you do it. Like, they don't appreciate that you do the favors for them. They just demand that you do it. I said, look, I'm doing you the favor. You're not doing me a favor. So you still have my schedule. It's not my problem. You're not here to wait for me. You know, now my friend that's, that's out that I'm going to come today, uh, he's unfortunately the since about uh, uh, 6, 6 right now. Uh, so he's waiting for five hours. But he's patiently waiting. He'll cook twice throughout the whole time. Once when he called in the morning, which I missed the call, so I can count that. And the next call came was at 1 o'clock in the morning, at 1 o'clock in the morning. And 
then the next door gave me was like at uh, 30, 4 o'clock, which is like, are you coming? And I say, yes, I'm coming, you know? Uh, so, the whole thing is, look, I'm doing everybody a favor. There are some people that I do not expect anything bad from. Uh, and I do not expect anyone to do anything wrong. You know, there's some things, there's some people that have done a lot more for me than I have done for them. And I really appreciate like my pizza guys. Holy crap, guys. I love pizza. If I can, if, if they lock me up in that pizzeria, I will eat it. But me, I will make that disappear. Uh, of course, they can't even go for it. And I'm really in, uh, in the pizza bar, I know I'll make it disappear. Uh, I love my dollar pizza. It's freaking awesome. I love it. Uh, I even tried with my dad and my mom over there. My mom already has the idea, but my dad is just like stuck on stupid on it, you know? Um, so, what I'm trying to say is, look, I'm like the, I'm like the godfather. No, I'm not the godfather, but I'm like the godfather. So, the whole thing is, look, if you're asking me for a favor or for help or something, whatever it may be, I don't care what it may be, how big or how small it may be, okay? I don't do it because I think that I can get a favor back from you. I do it because I want to do it without expecting anything back from you. Here's the problem. If for some reason, the X amount of time passes by later on, and uh, I do ask you for something, and you tell me no, Kind of put that one on yourself there. You know what I mean? Um, that means uh, I will not help you. I always like to help everybody once. Always like to help everybody once. Always help everybody once. You know, because you always have to give a person a benefit of a doubt. You know, um, they're good, they're bad, whatever. I don't care. So go once, well, you know, not to do it again, then screw you over again. You know, I, uh, I literally I have a friend that owes me freaking $50, and, and, and this guy is just like non stop. Yeah, you know, I'm gonna get you. I said, listen, you cannot talk about the stuff that you have not yet acquired. Yeah, but I'm gonna get paid tomorrow, I'm gonna go to work tomorrow. I'm like, bro, again, you cannot talk about stuff you have not done yet. Guess what happens when tomorrow comes? Boss sent me money because he owes it, and I was like, cool, wow, it actually worked. For the first time in 10 years, it actually worked. The boss called me back for like an hour or something. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, are you serious? I'm just going to send it back to me. I go, uh, man. And I have to put it back to my friend, like, you're an a-hole. You know, why would you do that? Why would you tell me something like that? You know what I mean? Why would you even do that? You know? So this 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 was the stupid little issues that I had with. You know, this is like stupid little stuff. But the whole thing is the whole point of, 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 of someone asking for a favor is that eventually they have to understand that you're going to ask them for a favor back, whether it be a small one or a big one uh, of a favor. Uh, you're gonna ask back for it eventually. It may not come for a long time. That doesn't mean you disappear and give out, you know? No, eventually I will ask you for a favor. I don't know what it's going to be. I don't know when it's going to be. But I know it'll be eventually a favor. You know what I mean? It'll be a favor, you know? Uh, so that's not something I can predict, you know? I mean, even if they pay me for it. Even if I get paid to do this favor, like he's paying for my gas, he's paying for my tolls, um, my truck is not free. I paid for that truck, you know? And this truck has proven to be a winner to me time and time and over and over and over again. I spent so little money on it and I enjoy it. And, and, and you know, I love it. I'm like, I'm at, I'm at 106,000 miles on this truck and I bought this like a year ago. Uh, I bought it with 105,000 miles. I don't go far with it. But the point is, you know, I enjoy it and, and, I, and I love to engage with people. I just need people to understand that, well, when I do a favor for you, you know, um, that you need to understand that you have to pay back eventually. You know, you have to pay back. 
So this is the whole thing. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you for watching. Take care.